Okay. April 15th of 2024. I'm going to call this video. What I was going to do was... I bought some beef. It was on... Well, I bought... I bought... First I bought beef for five ninety nine a pound. But for whatever reason I got it at ten dollars and I'm sorry. But for whatever reason I got it at one dollar and fifteen cents a pound. You do the math. <laughs> okay. And then I decided it wasn't very much in terms of what I got for a dollar fifteen a pound. And I got 10 pounds. It was supposed to be at $5.99 a pound, but I don't know how that worked out, but it did. <laughs> Lucky me, eh? <laughs> so I decided to try and buy it again, but I couldn't. So I went with more expensive beef, because if I'm going to can a canner, I would prefer a fairly full canner, right? So, I ended up paying, oh, I don't know, $12 a pound? What did I pay? Anyway, I bought, I, bought, I bought some more beef and a little bit of pork. And now my pot's full. And I'm going to do 500 mil jars. Only my next video, not this video, but the next one, because I was going to do the next one. Well, I'm, I've been going, I've been just going all day. I'm organizing, cleaning, and, you know, trying to stay focused. It's really hard to stay focused, people, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, before I tackle downstairs, right? And I'm praying, I'm praying, people, I am so praying that my stuff isn't being destroyed, ruined, thrown out in the garbage, robbed, fucking disappearing, given away as gifts to other people, sold, who knows? This is a very serious situation that I'm in. All right, let's stay focused. That's what I've been telling myself, stay focused. Remember when I made those burgers with my little uh, <coughs> meat grinder? Well, I had to go digging for it and I pulled it back out and now I've decided I'm not putting it back where I had it because that was just a big chore. Because any burgers that I made, and I put them in those little white burger things, and I stacked them up, they're all gone. So, you know, Andre wanted me to make chili, but I got chili downstairs, so that's another day. So anyway, I decided that versus having, oh, I don't know. You buy meat, you think you're getting a lot, and when you start filling up jars, it goes pretty freaking fast. So, versus having anywhere from six to, I, w I don't even think I would have gotten, well, maybe, yeah, I, m I might have gotten eight jars. That would be the bottom of the canner, canner right? And I can, I can do <coughs> eight, eight, uh, 500 mil on the bottom and eight on top. So, that's why I decided to buy a bit more, but I couldn't get it on sale. But who's complaining because at a dollar fifteen a pound, for the 10 pounds that I did get, oh, I, I ain't bitching. Okay, so I ordered some more, right? You can see, I haven't, I haven't cut these ones yet. Oh, see, there's two of them here, okay? All right, and then I, I got a little bit of pork. I don't know, because of the fat, right? Plus I've got whatever's in this pot which is half full and when it came in they were in steak size like sliced like steaks so as soon as they came in I started cutting them up and then I put them in the pot and this pot is half full already almost half full almost half full all right now what I paid for this one uh, twenty six dollars and sixteen cents you don't get a lot of meat for twenty six dollars and sixteen cents. Nineteen dollars and sixty nine cents. And this was at regular price at uh, twenty one dollars and seventy six cents a kg. So you're looking at 
ten dollars and a bit per pound but by adding in this minus but I'm gonna grind up I'll make some burgers right and then I want it I don't know this cost me fourteen dollars and fifty three cents you can see it's not very much pork pork shoulder blade roast boneless either or so what I'm going to do now I explained to Andre when you do it this way to make a burger with just straight up beef no pork right you can have it rare blood rare medium or well done because it has no E. coli in it because it's not hamburger from a store it's your own hamburger so well I, whatever I bought this for I was gonna mix it into the burgers just to try and stretch it out right because you know he likes it right and of course the last batch that he cooked he cooked them very well done but we ate them anyway because I'm teaching him how right oh speaking of that I did my two hundred dollar donation to Lady Jane in Uganda she hasn't responded back to me yet she said prior to me doing the donation that she will do videos in regards to what I requested her to do with the money when it came to children that she mentioned three of them in particular I don't know maybe maybe she'll have another family or not but from what up from my, from my understanding there was there's three children that lost their mother to death <coughs> I guess there was a festival or something happened I don't know anyway the mum died so the children are mother, motherless. I don't know who's caring for them, whether it's the father, the grandmother, just extended family. I don't know. All I know is she said that they lost their mother and that they would benefit. And that if I was to send $100, she listed, I don't know, 20 kg of beans, 20 kg of um, rice, 25 kg of maize and some cooking oil and that would last them for about two months in terms of a staple I mean obviously they're eating now you would think but maybe not as well I as if the mother was alive you have to remember with African cultures I don't know about all African cultures but you know, the women do a large amount of the work. They really, really do. The men, I don't know. It depends where they come from, from what part of Africa. You know, they tend, some of them like to have more than one wife. <laughs> right? It's, you know, and they just, they're not as, uh, productive but don't get me wrong that's not to say that the men don't work it's just they're not as maybe um, it depends it really depends on what part of Africa they come from because I used to work with African families right and the politics in the house is I don't know anyway it depends too it depends if they're Muslims and they're polygamists and you know or whatever 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 again it depends from where they come from you know it depends if okay so regardless we have our own problems in our own country with men so what does it matter right the point is I'm I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking with the mum gone that uh, cloak of protection where the mother will go hundred and fifty percent for the children versus maybe the father not so much or maybe the father died or maybe the father is because we're talking of a, a village 
basically where the income is not you know industrialized where it's uh the I don't want to say poverty because I wouldn't myself as long as I had food and a sense of security within my community I mean who wouldn't want to get away from the rat race in terms of Canada living in the big city welcome to the new Congo come over with your kids one will disappear over there another one will get lured to their death over there and you know what that's what happens to a lot of African families when they come here to Canada their kids are little they grow up and then what happens they're either fucking disappearing off the streets never to be seen again Okay, kids that I used to work with, people, or or murdered by fentanyl, hot capped, hot shot, or fucking shot down with guns. Some of the kids that I used to work with at Gateway Place are dead. Just like my daughter. Welcome to the new Congo. What the hell are our politicians doing? Obviously not keeping an eye on the white collar criminals that lack, like to capitalize off of freaking body parts here. Okay? I don't think this village has that problem. I don't. But they do suffer from food insecurity. Okay? And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. As my food is being... Who knows? Literally. Because, you know, I knew I was going to talk about this. I, for these trolls that want to sit up there and say, I'm a bad seed? Well, when you go into somebody's freaking house and you expect to evict them from their own space and you take it upon yourself to touch things that don't belong to you in any kind of capacity because you just want to piss off the owner that owns that stuff thinking you're in control to do what you want with it however you want with it it really doesn't say much about your character in terms of ethics, morality, being trustworthy, having any freaking form of self-respect, never mind respect for anybody else, right? You know? I mean, like, uh, the world is bad enough as it already is. All right, there's a place for people like that. There really is. Sooner or later, it catches up to them. I go into my dead daughter's bedroom. I wanted to title this vi this video so much for me. I wanted to title this video "The Cost of Food Prep." the real cost of food prep in terms of building in food security to only have it come I don't want to say come crashing down but to be tampered with when I walked into Shimei's room and found an empty egg carton sitting up by the fridge after well, that was before. That was before my shit was raided, people. Okay. Because I had bought a lot of eggs, remember? I did that online shopping. What did I do? I bought a whole lot. Andre eats a carton of eggs every four days if I allow him to do that. Okay. He, I said, Andre, did you take out the eggs? What would you do with the eggs? No, no, no. Because, you know, he took them downstairs and he put them in the fridge. If it was my son that went in there and took them, he's not going to take the eggs out of the egg carton and leave the egg carton on the floor by the fridge. He'll just take the whole egg carton. 
There's only one person in this house that would do that. I guess the message was, Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Get the fuck out of this room. It's my space. I live downstairs now. You have no right to be here. So, being that you won't leave, I'll just do mine boobery with you. And when you're not looking, I'm going to rob you blind. I'm going to call you the problem. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sick your son on you even more. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to troll your YouTube channel with whoever sides with me. Birds of a feather flock to together. So that I don't have to take no responsibility for being a thief. In including stealing eggs. And then you want to call Andre down for fucking food? Yeah, okay, I don't think so. Andre feels betrayed, people. On multiple levels. Because of the bullshit. So, for years, I've done videos around this subject of food prep. We used to know, I, wa I was looking forward to bringing people down to that 14-year-old food storage. I have videos of it. I can go into there and look at my videos and see exactly what I had. Not to mention knowing in my head. Is it all there? I don't know. I'm being held hostage to it. I'm not allowed access to my own food. Even though I paid for it. I spent hours and hours and hours and hours with the prep work and then putting it away. Right? Whether canning, vacuum sealing, whatever. Right? Okay? This is what I got in my house, people. That just, I don't know. I put up with criticism for years from my kids. Because... They're conditioned to think that our government will always provide the population with affordable food. But that kind of went out the window when affordable housing went out the window. And now people are starting to realize that, unless of course you're rolling in the dough, but for the majority, I would think, a good 75 sixty percent anyway are starting to feel the pinch and are actually concerned about where the food is going to be at in five years from now because it's creeping right and of course they're going to blame extreme weather events um, food chain disruptions through our ports Bridges being knocked down by barges that go rogue. Right? You know what I'm saying? World war on the brink of mass extinction. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, China coming in with their millions of robots as their now apparently manufacturing them but then that's nothing new we've been living we've been listening to that crap for a couple two three years so we knew it was just a matter of time before they show up <laughs> right <laughs> and once that does then what <laughs> right robots don't eat they don't need food so why are we not surprised with the food supply slowly but surely dwindling and we live in a so-called civil, rich society in Canada. Yeah, okay. Let's drop the word civil. And only some people are rich or wealthy. But at what extent do they have to go to gain that wealth? Hmm? So yeah, lots and lots of criticism. But now... Not so much from Tisha. I don't get it from Tisha. But my son did before this shit all happened downstairs. You know, he said, gee, Mom, I, you know, you did the right thing. 
right? And blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, well, gee, finally, thank you so much. I appreciate that, but at what it didn't last long, though, because I got locked out of it, people. And I'm being pinched here, pinched there. I go downstairs, I see a fucking jar missing, or whatever, when I do get downstairs, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I just don't know. Like, like who, who, the only reason you would condone that kind of behavior is because you yourself are a thief, or you yourself are a murderer, you know, right? We, we, we've been there, done that with Julian and his sister, and whoever's sitting in the fucking alley plotting and scheming how to murder me so they can get freaking on uh, Amari, right? Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's not forget about that. Okay? Right from the horse's mouth on her video. Oh, yeah, Julian and Cheeseburger were sitting in the alley plotting and scheming how to murder you so they could get Amari. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right? Well, I've got another one downstairs plotting and scheming against me, and for what? You see, with my daughters, I was afraid for them to move out. Honestly, people, even if my son moves out with this girl, I'm afraid for my son. Just with the type of individual I'm in contact with. And what she's doing to me. And if she can't do it to me, she'll find somebody else to do it. And in my opinion, she's already started on my son, but my son just hasn't noticed it yet. I have, but he hasn't. And she, she, her shit's still hanging on the clothesline. That's because she's watching my videos and she's trying to piss me off. As she's going into my fridge, stealing Andre's eggs and leaving the egg carton behind because she wants that room, basically. Just like she wanted the area that she raided with that 14-year-old food storage area, people that I've been basically locked out of again. I never even got a chance to go inside. Anyone that condones that kind of behavior is mentally ill. Take your thumb and shove it where the sun don't shine. You are mentally ill. And if you are going around doing a legal activity, stealing, robbing, raiding, so on and so on and so on, you deserve to be in jail. So that's what I got to say about that. Yeah. Don't kid yourself. I don't go anywhere near that individual's stuff self-respect for myself I have self-respect for other people and I'm not desperate to be in control as in as in being a control freak and I'm sure in the hell not looking for no fucking brownie sorry boo-boo brownie points when I give other people's belongings away after I stole it hoping that they'll like me and give me something back yeah. So, I put up with the, oh, you know, you're all, you're crazy, you're buying 40 pounds of wheat. Uh, why do you need beans? Uh, and then my son comes and says, well, the more the better. I'm like, well, what do you want? I'll take anything in terms of food. So what do I go off and do? This was before that shit happened downstairs. I'm telling you people, I got 44 pounds, 44 pounds, what did I buy? 44 pounds of red rife wheat, I have to vacuum seal it. 44 pounds of great northern beans, still sitting in the bag unopened, I have to vacuum seal, because I don't want to buy any more jars, <laughs> right? I bought, 50 pounds of whole groat oats and I just placed another order because the popcorn that Andre likes that he can't get to downstairs because I've been locked out came in 
where I can order, and I said, gee, or, um, on, Andre, the order just came in. Well, you know, what should I do? In a 25-pound bag. Cost me $117 for a 25-pound bag of organic popcorn. And yet, I've got organic popcorn downstairs that I can't get to because of what's happening in my house. Yeah. But I bought it as backup. It's coming. And since, since if you spend $150, you get free delivery, I said, to hell with it. I'll just get an extra two more bags, a 25 pounds bag for the whole groat oats. And I've got a little crock pot right here. I haven't used it yet. I bought it a long time ago. I got bigger ones than this. But this is perfect. You put those whole groat oats in this little thing, you cook them for four hours or so, oh man, it's going to be so, so good, people. And it's better because they're whole groat oats with all their natural nutrients in them. That's what Andre's going to be eating. And us, me, and Amara, all of us. But, I have to put them downstairs. Only because my son said, and yeah, and then I went off and I bought more rice that has to go downstairs. And I bought some extra beans from Walmart. And then I got raided. Well, this shit's sitting upstairs right now. Talk about being punched in the gut. Your son comes and asks you to buy more shit basically, because he finally had a light bulb moment where he realizes that what I've been doing all these years, even though it's been an inconvenience when it takes up fucking space, sorry, boo-boo space, and it doesn't necessarily get all put away at one time because it comes in in bulk and it takes a while to do crap, but after it's all said and done, it's pretty nice to know that you have it. Except for when somebody's coming in there and taking a little of this and doing and running off with that. Or why? Why is there an empty egg carton by Auntie Shimei's fridge? Other than somebody didn't want Andre eating the eggs and wanted to leave me a little message that you shouldn't leave all your eggs in one basket. Especially when you've got a fox that wants to eat them and will raid you in the middle of the night. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. So, $200 to Uganda for three children that are motherless? Or even if the mother was there, and the father, but they were struggling because of the type of economy that they live in? I'm just wondering, do they have the same kind of people in this village that live in freaking British Columbia, Canada, where, you know, that the food will be in the hut or the house or whatever they live in, and the neighbors will get wind that the children got a donation from a Canadian, and um, there's a whole bunch of rice, beans, maize, little bit of fish... Are, are the neighbors, is, is somebody going to go rob them? Because they're hungry? Oh, no, you see, I'm not being robbed because I'm being hungry. Who's ever robbing me? Not because they're hungry. Because they, they are under the impression that the government is going to feed them forever and they'll always be able to afford to buy groceries, especially if they have a man to say, go out and go work and bring me home some money so I can go buy groceries. I'm just saying. Right. You know, is that food safe? Will the neighbors in this little village respect the children, whether they have parents or not? And leave the food alone for the family unit, including the children? Or is some thief going to come in the middle of the night? Like being in the fucking new, sorry, boo-boo, new Congo. You know, the gorillas. 
that come in and hurt people and rob people and burn down whole villages, that kind of Congo crap, right? Not to mention the corporations that enslave the people. I mean, the Congo has a lot of problems. It doesn't have to be black on black. It could be white on freaking black through those corporations that exploit the people and the resources. Are the neighbors going to respect that family with those children and leave that food alone so that those children can at least at one, at least have food security for at least two months without being raided? I wonder if they have the same problems. Because I told this lady, we have different problems in Canada. I see your problems. I can, I understand your problems because I worked with people that came from Africa that had it worse than what she's portraying. And I seen what Canadians, not all, but some, I seen racist, I seen what racist Canadians, how they treated these Africans that came because they were control freaks and wanted to be in control. Versus trying to be part of the solution and help. They wanted to destroy anything and everything that I was trying to do with the people that were coming in, in Lebanon. It wasn't just, it was Lebanon too, right? Different, different countries of Africa and just, you know, like whatever, right? And like, you know, I just, that, that's my only fear is they got the same kind of people there that are going to go in and rob that family as that food's coming in. She coming in with a big bag of this, a big bag of that, and a big bag of this, and a few more bags of this. Is it going to be safe, Jane? You subscribe to my channel. Any videos that you do in regards to this subject, I'm going to put up on my community wall. Hmm. I don't use my community wall. I tried it. I'm not very creative with those kind of things. I have too much drama in my life. Anything positive that I do or try to do doesn't last very long. I'm always being sabotaged. That's what my channel will show you. If you go deep and far enough into it, you will see that people do not like to see me succeed at anything. And they go by through any means necessary to try and destroy not only my family, but me. And anything that I represent in terms of being positive, being part of the solution, giving back, being grateful for the things that I do have actually having real empathy, sympathy, compassion, words that that individual downstairs does not understand, and a whole lot of other people like her in Canada. It's a joke. My son says, oh, oh, everything's going to come crashing down. We're going into Armageddon. It might take five years, blah, 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 you know, blah, blah, blah. Do you have any, enough water stored? And I'm like, well, I have some, <laughs> you know, <coughs> right? And, uh, you know, and, and you know, and I'm like, well, gee, you know, you're kind of scaring me. Maybe you're making me want to go off and, you know, just top off just a little more because I'm coming to the end. I don't want to anymore, right? You know what I'm saying? He goes, yeah, yeah I'll tell And I said, well, what do you want? Like, you tell me what I should buy. And uh, Beans and rice, beans and rice. And I'm like, okay, well, we got lots of beans. You know, I'll factor in the rice. And I did, people. I went off and bought the fucking rice. It's sitting in, it's sitting in a freaking bedroom. Upstairs. Forty pounds. And then I ain't got more. But for what? For that thing to walk off with a bag? Leave a trail of fucking rice behind? Yeah, okay. Well, I picked up a few bags from Walmart because I'm, I'm always buying organic, organic. It costs more money. This time I kind of cheated. I just, you know, five bags of this. I think I did kidney beans because I don't have a lot of kidney beans. So I went off and I bought five bags of eight pounds, right? That's five, that's 40 pounds. I bought 40 pounds of kidney beans for Andre, for my son, for his wife. 
for me and Amari. Yeah, okay. And it's sitting up in the freaking bedroom. Yeah, okay. Because he said, I'll take anything I can get. Because, yeah, the food supply chain is definitely freaking compromised. The extreme weather uh, events are definitely compromising the um, food security in terms of the, the being available. In terms of, you know, affordable and available. And you see, that's the thing. Available. I shop. I've been shopping online for bulk shit for a long time. I know what's available, what's not available, what's used to be available, and how often it comes back through the pipeline. And it's not like the good old days. I can tell you that right now. And yeah, it's getting more and more expensive. For sure. And I listened to the bullshit for years in terms of criticism. And I plugged through it. I worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and worked. Put in long hours. Yeah. Invested to have it, you know, preserved so it can last. And I'm getting raided with psychological warfare uh, leaving empty cartons of eggs after they've been raided from Auntie Chimay's fridge which is in essence stealing food from the kids that's all it is and then it makes me think well you're, you're reaching far here Judy you're going as far as Uganda you're giving it to vulnerable children in a poor village but where's the mindset of the village? Are they going to respect the household those children live in and leave the food alone so that those children have food security, at least them, in that village that are struggling? You can't help everybody, but you can help somebody, or at least try. That's what I'm trying to do here, people. I'm trying. So, if Jane, you come through, you, you have to show the people that you're serious about your charitable work. Right? And then I'm going to put it on my community wall. You Post a link to your videos. I will record, watch, talk, upload my own videos. And then I'm going to encourage people to think, to donate to you, to carry on with being charitable. And through that process, what I also am hoping is that you're going to garner, gather some respect through being noticed in your own community. And then you're going to start receiving maybe a few more donations, if you're not already, from vendors or whoever to uh, do more than what you're doing. Because you can only do as much as you have available to you, right? That's what I'm hoping. You'd be a big spender. You're going to go, I got $200, 200 200 200 <laughs> <laughs> right, I want 50 pounds of this and 25 pounds of that and 10 pounds of that and da 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 da. And the guy would be like, or whoever you're dealing with, right? They'd be like, ooh, big spender, big spender. Uh, there, you know, you know, you have to do a little wheeling and dealing, right? <laughs> and maybe they'll give you a little extra. Not because you're a big spender. Because, but because you're buying for a good cause. That's what I'm really hoping. I'm hoping somebody in your community will donate a little extra on top of what you're coming with with the $200. Now, I can't guarantee anybody that watches my videos, well, we know the trolls won't because they're too busy trying to rob me. One way or another, if they're not trying to put hits on me to take me out because they want whatever it is that they want, they're plotting and scheming how to steal from me. If they're not stealing in my yard, they're stealing in my house now. 
welcome to the new Congo called Canada. Because everybody's on a hunt for something, right? In terms of, it's got to have wealth, like, value, right? They would prefer money. Money, right? That's it. <laughs> but power, too, <laughs> right? Being a control freak is a big one. Um, I can't guarantee that my online girlfriends, I have a couple of them, well, more than two, I have a few of them. I can't guarantee that they can afford it. It's not that they wouldn't want to do it. I can't guarantee that they could afford it to do a 20, 30, 40, 50 dollar donation to try and come together as a group so that in a couple of months from now we can make another 200 dollar donation or more for the same process. Same family? To help build in food security. <clears throat> so, I know you're watching my videos, Jane. It's very important that you touch base with, can, is the food safe? <laughs> because your community is poorer than my community. And the poorer usually people get, the worst, I don't want to say crime gets, but that's basically what happened to me. It's a crime what happened to me, people. I have every right to call the police and charge them. <laughs> them! Downstairs! <coughs> right? But that's not going to solve no problems. Not right now, anyway. I mean, if it comes to that, yeah, sure. But, like, you know, it's important for people to know that the children will be respected with their family and some crazy neighbor isn't going to infiltrate and steal their food in the middle of the night. Right? Because it kind of takes away from the donation, don't you think? If anything, it should be an inspiration for the people in the community where you live to chip in. Yeah. For the ones that can afford it. Obviously, if you can't afford it, well then, th you can't. Right? I'd like to think that, you know, like I said, Canada has, or even in the United States, we have different problems than developing countries with a lower medium income a lot of ours stem from greed low self-esteem egos that's a big one greed is a big one see I bring in wheats not wheat rice Anytime I bring rice into the house, I just did a rice run a couple of weeks ago before that shit happened downstairs. <clears throat> like I said, it's sitting up in the bedroom waiting to go downstairs, but I'm reluctant. And I have to do what I got to do down there first before I can bring any more down. And being that I got a big freaking monkey wrench stuck up in the engine, I don't even know how long it's going to take for me to jiggle it out all right with before i get into another car car crash ran off the road basically so i'm going to leave it on that right Oh yeah, I need to say this though. All right, so I do the donation. Tisha was gonna help me, but eh, it didn't work out. It was, she was getting frustrated with it all, and, and and so I did it today myself online through Western Union, right? And it was kind of funny, really. It it, it 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 was it was so fitting, you know, in terms of um, you know, when God walks with you, 
He walks with me. He really does, people. <laughs> he always reminding me he's around, right? One way or another. Okay, I do the $200 donation because it's my first time doing it online in terms of a Western Union transfer. Fucking moth, man. Um, it, no fees. Oh, hold on a minute. I don't know why Telus keeps calling me. Like, seriously, I tell him I'm with, well, it used to be called Shaw's. Shaw, right? But whatever. Like, I've been with this one company forever. And they, I tell them, take me off the calling list. But they never do. They're always calling me, trying to make me buy their service. Anyway, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, because it's first time, I don't have to pay a fee. Okay. I do whatever I do. I push send. It says it's done. I'm waiting for her now, right, to let me know that she got it. And uh, then this little thing pops up and says I get 20 free meals, go figure. <laughs> 20 free meals, go figure, from uh, HelloFresh. I'm like, oh, 20, 20 free meals? Did I not just make a $200 donation for food? <laughs> for meals? And now I've got the meals coming back at me? <laughs> okay. Free? <laughs> okay. <coughs> <coughs> Hold on. Okay. So, yeah. It says I get 20 free meals. 20, 20 meals for free. And I'm like... Okay, well that's interesting. So I push OK. It brings me to Hello Fresh. Hello, hello like Hello Fresh, <coughs> right? I fill everything out. I said, "Gee, Andre, you want to try it just for fun? You, you can make it. It will get him motivated to start reading recipes because they come with recipes too, right?" Well, because, you know, I want him to get into the books. But this might be a good way to start that process. Plus, he likes to eat, right? So, like, I'm like, you know. Why not, right? Try it out. But it was just kind of too coincidental. So, anyway, long story short... I get 20 meals, three meals a week, which goes on for about six months or six weeks and a bit. I saved myself. There was, I did have to pay. I paid $32. 20 meals, two person meals, right? They come in three for the week, which is good for Andre just to learn with. And, um, it was like, I think 80, eight, we'll just say $89 if I would have had to pay regular price. But they took off like $57 and some odd cents. So I only had to pay $31 and some odd cents. So we'll just say $32, right? For 20 meals to give Andre a chance to... I don't know. We don't know until we try it, <laughs> right? And I think I get one free breath, one free, one free breakfast with bagels. But I did point out to Andre, like I did say, okay, we're gonna try it out, see what happens, right? But but the problem with that though, when you do like some of this stuff, you don't know where they're sourcing the food from. Like the bagels, for example. Like I was reading the ingredients, right, on some of this stuff, right? Because, right? And it says sulfate and this and that. And I'm like, yeah, but, you know, there's also things to think about, like the level of cadmium, 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 which is kind of like a heavy metal, I think. Cad, cadmium, cadmium, um, lead, 
just you know because you don't know where they're sourcing their food from you don't know where they're getting their food from and right you just you know so and like the bagels you know they look good from what I could read on the ingredients but it has the sulfate in it which is a f form of food preservative right any most of these breads that come in but I, I mean I told Andre there's going to come a time when we just won't need it because we'll be making our own bread from the wheat that I have in the house, right? And then you're in more control of what's inside your food and you know where it came from versus if you do it through a place like, I guess, HelloFresh, you don't really necessarily know where they're getting their food from. But for now, no, try it out, <laughs> right? And then I said to him, if we like it, and it seems to be working okay as a supplement, as a supplement, because he's growing and he's wanting to eat all the time, right? And if he can get with it real fast and just get good at what he's doing, because it's already pre-made and it's convenient for me, you know, and I feel that the food is reasonable then yeah I might just carry on with it pay the 88 bucks every six weeks and it's just another food supplement right but it just seemed kinda odd that you know I sent money to a village in Africa to build in food security at least for two months come on ladies Think really hard what I'm saying here. I'm not asking you to dig deep into your pockets, but I am asking you to be noble. <laughs> right? I want to start a group of noble women. Yes, I do. And, uh... Kind of get back to nature in terms of... You know, everybody likes to use my stuff as a means to hurt me. They expect me to get rid of my stuff, whatever that stuff is, so that they can control me and abuse me and make it so that I have nothing, so that they can have something and feel more empowered, more important, more valued than, I, than me. That's not how I see life. No. So, I make a donation for food and then I get $88 back of food free. Really, when you think about it. Because if I had to pay full price, it would have costed me $88. So we'll just round it off at 90 bucks. I got 90 bucks back. Well, $88. The shipping was free. I don't know if I have to pay shipping all the time. I, I, I won't know until I get to the next, if I want to reorder. But it depends how Andre responds to it. Because I did it more for Andre than I did it for myself. And if it motivates him to read, great. If he likes the food, and I like it, then that's even a better bonus. Right? And Amari, too, right? So. I don't have to do this, and I don't want to do this. And you know why I don't want to? Because I spent all day, I've been like working so hard just trying to, you know, get my life. Just, it, I don't know if you can see over there, but I'm kind of getting things a little more organized. I have to get into uh, vacuum sealing this stuff. I haven't even gotten into it yet. I'm still working in the playroom. Whatever. 
trying not to think about what's going on downstairs, but it's kind of hard not to, people. No. I can't afford to go off and buy again. Not even a carton of eggs. No, not really. At least before all this happened, my son was, you know, cooking and feeding Andre. Whether he went in and grabbed a little of this or, you know, he said, Mom, I took a bag of rice. I said, yeah, well, you feed Andre. Like, go ahead. But now, like, fuck, don't touch nothing. Don't touch nothing. <laughs> Why? You've already touched enough. <laughs> right? I can't afford to replace it, people. And whoever took those eggs from the fridge and left the carton behind, that was done with intent. That's something that Joan Duncan would do. A person that couldn't work at her government job in the finance department and went in and out of a mental institution until finally she uh, went on long-term disability. And even while being on long-term disability, she still went in and out of the mental institution <laughs> quite a few times, <laughs> right? As she became an addict to oxycodone and about eight other freaking psychosis pills. As she was a bulimic and an anorexic, okay? Don't ever kind of try and compare me for this troll that condones theft, the destruction of other people's property, the plot and scheming behind an individual that basically allowed them into my house, for fuck's sakes, people. Uh, no, I'm not the Joan Duncan here. I don't take pain medication to run away from my problems in life. I don't drink booze to masks, mask, whatever is going on in my head. Okay. I told you I'm a work mule. That's what I am. And I sure in the hell don't steal from people. I don't lie. I don't connive. I don't deceive. I don't trick. I don't manipulate. I'm a victim to all those things, and that's what my videos show, show you, right? But that doesn't mean God doesn't walk with me, because he does. Because when I die, I told you, I walk in two worlds. I walk with the living, and I walk with the dead. And when I die, there will be Uncle John, there will be Shimei, and Sierra, I'm sure, will be around. But those two mainly will help me through to the other side. Because what happened to them and Sierra, they didn't deserve it. And I'm pretty sure God didn't abandon them. The devil thought they won by doing what they did. But all they got was the body. They never got the soul. They never got the heart. They never got the mind. And they didn't get the love. Mm -mm. No. They just got a dead body. That's what they... And the money. Whatever money they got, they got from the body. And that's it. That's all. That's all the devil got. And the, and the, and the devil's uh, workers. And there's a lot of them. Yeah. So noble women... Let God walk with you. Seriously. There's always somebody out there that has it worse than us. And sometimes we have to go out of our country to um, come across people who are actually very grateful for the little things that you can do for them. Mm -hmm.
Whereas in Canada, the new Congo, they expect it. And when you don't give it to them, they go on the attack and they try and destroy you. That's not to say that everybody's like that in Canada, but there's a whole lot of people like that. Okay, so I am going to make Andre some hamburger. <laughs> You know, I wanted to mention something here. Um, the gang stalking is still happening via through my government people. <laughs> you know how I know that? Well, we know they like to watch my YouTube videos. Bink, bink, bink. Um, when I was trying to make an appointment to go see the eye doctor, this is where my specialist, the right? They told me I couldn't anymore because I had to go get another referral. Right? And I'm like, oh, great. Here we go again, back on that freaking bandwagon. Not like I can go to my family doctor. That hasn't been resolved yet. And remember, the government is refusing me long-term disability here, people. Like, I am, like, basically, honestly, really legally blind. Right. The only thing that really gets me through is I'm 62 and I have years of experience and I'm like, you know, I'm a workhorse, right? You know, work until, the, right? You know, and um, so anyway, I said at, in one of my videos at some point in the past, not too long ago, really not too long ago, it's not like I can go off and get a referral anytime soon, really. You know, and I was thinking of going back to the um, Royal Columbian Hospital. I said it. I said it in one of my videos. Go go back to the Royal Columbian Hospital and get a referral through the emergency department to go see that guy. I'm telling you. It wasn't even a week or two later or three, like soon after, soon after I said that, because that was just recent, like in the last month, right? And I've already seen him. Like it was just not too long ago, like seriously. I get a phone call from his office out of the blue asking me, no, first they tell me that the, the, the eye specialist wants to see me. Because I had to cut, cancel a couple of appointments and I canceled out on that rotor router on this eye, right? And uh, I said, well, I can't come see you. I tried to book an appointment. I phoned. I tried to book an appointment, but I was told I had to get a referral. Well, I don't know. Who said that? And I said, well, how am I supposed to know? Oh, no, no, no. The doctor wants to see you. We'll book an appointment right now. I said, oh, okay, great. All right. That's the first thing. Second thing is, I go see him, and, um, you know, it's like a month later, right? So it's been a little over a month, month and a half, or whatever it was. Like, like as soon as I said it on YouTube that I was going to go to the emergency ward, within two weeks, they called me back. And, and said, the doctor wants to see you. All right. So I go see him, and, you know, I told him people. I told him, I said, you ruined my, like, you know, whatever you did, you gave me the wrong advice. I said, you should never have changed my cataract lens. No, not, not for a person like me. Blah, 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 blah. Right? You shouldn't have told me that I needed to rely on dollar store glasses. I said, that was bad advice. Long story short, he says, he mumbled something to his reception, the person that was working with him. And then he said to me, I'm going you know, I want to give you back the money that you paid for me, to me, right? Not, not what I paid to the government for the cataract lens, but what I paid to him for the cataract lens. And then he told me to go buy a pair of glasses, like not dollar store glasses, but other glasses. I said, no, I'm not asking for you to give me back my money. I'm just telling you what happened, right? Because he did, he ruined my, he, he made my eyes worse, people. Like, you can see it the way I even look at you in the freaking camera with the way I move my eyes and shit. You know, I'm like, you know, right? Like, they're messed up. Like, he messed up my fucking eye. And it turned out 
The reason he changed the cataract, because he did that rotor rooter around the iris, right? Apparently, it's easier, supposedly safer, to take out the cataract and then do the rotor rooter. He didn't tell me that. He just said, we're going to change the cataract. And I'm like, okay, well, he said, but don't expect much difference. But seriously, man, it was I was too young. First of all, changed my cataract, and asking me to rely on dollar store glasses was the word. Okay, so whatever. I said, okay, well, whatever, do what you want. So I don't know. I don't know where that money. I don't know. I don't remember how I paid for it. I'm just waiting for my bills to come in, and then I'll look through my statements to see if he actually did give me back a hundred and twenty-five dollars out of. Four hundred and fifty dollars. I guess three hundred and twenty-five went to the government, and I guess he got a hundred and twenty-five. And he reimbursed. He he said he reimbursed me a hundred and twenty-five dollars for his part of that fee. The desperate deep state has been forced to reveal itself. To go off and buy. Oh, Andre, turn that off for me for a minute. There are now congressional hearings on Pfizer, warrantless wiretapping and spying on the American people. Because they're talking about this shit, right? Spying and deep state and you know and credit scores and just the whole and I'm like okay all right so I go home all right I go home he's telling me to go to an optotromatist to go buy a pair of glasses from them and in other words get my eyes checked and get a prescription pair of glasses because I basically told him that he ruined my eye he made it worse he gave me bad advice he should never have changed my cataract lens, right? And I guess he felt guilty. I don't know. He said, oh, I'll just give you back 125 You go buy prescription glasses. I get home, and not, a, not even two days later, people, two days later, three days later, I get a phone call from Specs Glasses, the optometrist that was supposed to give me that referral on April thirty first but never did after I went blind basically on April twenty seventh and then I went in right that was April of what two years ago pushing on two years now with this shit remember on the twenty second I could see because they blew out Debbie's house. I had that freaking super soldier sitting out my front yard after he came up my front steps, turned off my light bulb, took a freaking chair down, sat up by the blueberry bush, and made sure I stayed inside the house as they were blowing out Debbie's house, and we were recording it from the window. And then finally things, whatever, and I went out on my porch, and that dude was gone, right? And I went the next day, wiped off the chair because they whatever or whatever, and touched the light bulb and screwed it back in. And that was on the 23rd. 22nd because it was in the early in the morning on the 22nd and by the 27th I went outside got into Tisha's vehicle and I was blind as a bat I'm telling you energy weapons exist okay all right and then I went on the 31st to specs glasses or whatever in the mall and I said it's like you know this emergency whatever they didn't test my eyes they said oh we'll just put the referral in tomorrow months went by I phoned them up I said did you put the referral in? no we didn't they never even put the fucking ref sorry boo boo referral in oh okay but we'll do it tomorrow don't worry we'll call you back a and I specifically told them I don't want to see Dr. Gupta because that's the Punjabi freaking woman that put in two bottles of freezing agent in my eyes to where I was spitting out glowing green gobs. We're talking like this. Big gobs of glowing green something under the sun. By the time I got to my car after seeing her, I specifically told him, do not send me to that person. What did they do? I get a phone call after I'm already seeing this other doctor that I'm seeing in New Westminster months later to go see Dr. Gupta because that's where they put the referral in. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> After I seen this di eye doctor, it was May 7th. I had my appointment. I'm sorry, April 7th. It was, we're in April, right? It was April 7th when I went and seen him. 
and not even two days later, because he's telling me to go to an optometrist, some clinic, to go get prescription glasses. Not even two freaking three days later, I get a phone call from a, from a freaking you know place like that, right? Where they did not put the referral in, and when they did, they put it in with somebody I didn't want to see, right? They call me up and say, "Oh, it's time for you to come in for a checkup." I'm like, well, this, you know, this is too too coincidental, you know, right? If Walls could speak, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's too coincidental because, first of all, what I'm saying on YouTube that I'm going to go to the emergency ward in New Westminster because I don't trust the Surrey Memorial Hospital considering what they've done to my family, basically, and uh, get another referral for an eye doctor that I've been seeing that's a specialist, as I'm being told I can't see him, I need to go get a referral. So I say on YouTube, okay, I, I need to go get a referral because that's what his office told me to do. So now I'm going to go back to the emergency ward and not even a week or so later, I get a phone call from that office saying the doctor wants to see you. I said, oh, really? But I tried to book. They told me I couldn't see him. They said I had to get another referral. Who were you speaking to? I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. The doctor wants to see you. Great. I don't have to go to the emergency ward now. I go see him. He gives me back $125 because he's feeling guilty for what he did to my eye. He took the easy route out. He changed the cataract without stopping to think that how it would, I would react to it, only because it was easy to do that, which doesn't look like it's working, because the last time I went to see him, it, was, it went up to 20. What happened to being in the teens? Regardless, I'm going blind. I accept that. I'm not the first person, right? Although I do believe in energy weapons that encourage this kind of crap, okay? Among other things that happen to people, like sudden death syndrome these days. Wi-Fi. I have it on camera more than once going through my yard in my house. I'm sure I get shot up with it all the time. Ears have been ringing since 2013, six months after they illegally apprehended Andre. All of a sudden woke up and it never stopped. <coughs> That's like pushing 11 years now with this ringing in my ear. Well, both ears really. It's in my head, right? It's, it goes, right? So anyway, yeah, get home from the eye doctor. And I'm like, okay, he wants me to go get prescription glasses. I don't know how much that's going to help. But if I'm going to get prescription glasses, I'm going to get more than one, right? And I want, it, I want somebody that actually cares to take the time with me to make sure I get the right prescription for the, the computer, the right prescription for close-up work, reading, maybe sewing or something like that, right? And then, of course, maybe for something like this, but I don't know, people. Like, my eyes are, this eye is really screwed up now. Like, really screwed up. Like, you don't even know. And so I'm like, okay, well, where can I go? You know, I'm going to work on it, right? I'm busy. I'm, I'm busy. I, I got my shit ending up in the garbage can. I'm fucking busy. I'm sorry, boo-boo busy here, right? and whatever else I do in a day. And, um, yeah, not even two, three days later, like two, it was like, it was too, it was too coincidental. It's like I'm being stalked by the healthcare system, helping me along. But yet my government denies me long-term disability in terms of, I filled out the form, they denied it because they wanted my quote-unquote family doctor to uh, freaking fill out a form. But I don't have access to a family doctor. I put an application in for Amari, Andre, and me for a family doctor in a different office that Tisha goes to. I was told that he was accepting patients. It took me a month and a half, almost two months, to drop off the paperwork because Tisha went on her holiday. And finally, the paperwork got dropped off. I left it for a month. Then I phoned and said, well, has he looked at my paperwork? Oh, well, it's, it, it's on hold. It's on hold. He looked at it, but he's not making a decision yet. 
I said, excuse me? Well, you're not the only one. I said, what? He gets to cherry pick who his patients are? Oh, okay. So how long do I have to wait? Well, maybe May. Call back in May. So I have to wait until May to see if this doctor, who happens to be Russian, is going to accept me and the kids as a family doctor so I can go and see him so he can transfer my files from the messed up Ukrainian doctor that I have had for years that told me to take him to court so that he can get my files and everything that's been going on with my eyes is being sent to my Ukrainian messed up take me to court family doctor right oh uh, anything right plus when I submitted my disability form to the province I had the eye specialist that did the surgery and the other eye special I have two eye specialists right <clears throat> see two different kind right but the one I'm seeing right now is the one that does the surgeries right okay they both filled out the f papers I have submitted them but I have to get a family doctor and I've got some other doctor regardless of whether he's Russian or not just putting me on fucking hold with the kids people yeah so I go Right? He is an eye specialist. Here, I'm going to give you back $125 to go get a prescription eyeglasses. Go, you know, as if that compensates for what happened to me. Either or, it doesn't matter. We know I'm a targeted individual. We know that no matter what I do, I'm never going to get justice in any kind of fucking capacity. Sorry, boo boo capacity here. No, no, because there's just too many bad people in the world, and that's the bottom freaking line here. And I'm not saying that my eye doctor is a bad person, but at the end of the day, like, seriously, you know, I, I did thank him for calling me in. Otherwise, I would have had to go to the emergency ward and go back on a freaking waiting list. But you see, my phone is bugged. That's what it is. My phone is bugged. So is my computer. So is my house. I swear. Other people know that their houses and phones and whatever are bugged. We're not, I'm not the only one, right? I'm sorry, two things like that, back to back, when it relates to this, right? I'm talking on YouTube, I'm going to the emergency ward, all of a sudden I get a phone call from an office that told me that I needed to go get another referral telling me to come in. Yeah, okay. Sure, you made it easy for me. Alright, but you're also spooking me too, right? Can't blame it all on AI, because it's not. And then, he tells me to go get a prescription eyeglass, he's giving me back $125, to pay for them. Why? So I won't sue them? Is that it? I took blood money in the amount of $125? Or was he just being a good guy? I'll never know. All I know is I ain't got time to go chase his ass when I should be chasing Dr. Fasinski, that Ukrainian that told me to take him to court. That's the one I should be suing first, right? <laughs> just saying. So, you know, and then two days later, I get a phone call from a freaking optometrist that screwed me around for almost eight months from April 31st of 2022 I think it was 2022 when I went blind right and uh, you know didn't put the referral in for months and months then put the referral in but put it in with the wrong doctor right right and that took six months finally for them to call me by that time like freaking seven eight months had gone by but I was already seeing this other doctor because I went to the emergency ward and now they're calling me up two or three days after I see this doctor telling me to go see someone like them to hell with that shit people to hell with that shit that was a freaking setup as my government the province of British Columbia, Canada, who likes to cover up this, that, and everything else under the sun because they're nothing but a bunch of criminals, really, at the end of the day, that like to steal money and other people's property, right? Well, I mean, what great leadership. You can't expect the population not to act like them when that's what they basically do in terms of leadership, right? That's what my videos have proven, right? Where's the leadership? Medical kidnapping. Murder by fentanyl, one big cover-up, 
Illegal child apprehension, one big cover up, illegal evictions, turning y'all vulnerable women that, you know, weren't weren't doing drugs into hardcore junkies and then pimping them out on the street for eight years only to lure them off to their death for a freaking snuff movie so the cops can get the rocks off. Yeah, okay. That's real positive that's what I mean. Welcome to the new Congo. Okay? Screwing around with my eyes. Literally. But I'm between a rock and a hard spot. I don't have a choice. I have to do this because if I don't and leave it without no drops for two years, I will definitely go completely freaking blind. That's what got me into trouble in the first place. Thank you very much, Dr. Fitsinski. Why don't you go back to freaking Ukraine and go fight for your country? Strap on a freaking backpack, grab a whatever it is that they're using as a weapon, and go in the front lines and stand proud for your country, Dr. Vicinski. Because you're useless here in Canada. You're a scoundrel. You like to ruin people's lives and cover up this and cover up that because somehow some way that clinic over there <clears throat> is involved with illegal organ harvesting and everything else that goes on in this province when it comes to illegal activity why else would you tell me to take you to court to get Shimei's medical files from a stupid clinic same thing with Sierra because you're hiding something Yeah. Seriously. As I got something stalking me at my eye doctors. Literally. That's how I feel about it, people. To, to, you know, they do it where, where it kind of spooks you, right? You know, because, you know, they're trying to derail you. They like to taunt you. You know, they go for that negative energy, right? They run out, they, they enjoy when you're fearful. They get off on it. It's better than sex for them. All right. I'm just saying. So I just wanted to point that out. Because whatever whatever this guy is doing, it's not working. My eyes get worse almost every day. Every day, every day, every day. Every week it's worse. But it's every day. Every day. It wasn't like that before until I started seeing him. <laughs> I don't know what it is. He gave me a new drop. I tried it. Oh my god. Ah, I had to go back to the old one. Oh yeah. I noticed it right away. I noticed it right away. You know. But I just keep doing until I just, I guess I can't do no more. And then when that time comes, I'm going to have to hire somebody to come here and do whatever it is that I ask them to do, being that I can't rely on people to do it for me just because I asked. I'm going to have to actually pay somebody to touch my stuff with respect. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. This eye doctor seems to think I'll be able to manage for quite a while yet. But I don't know, people. It's so hard. Now, I do plan on going to an optotrauma you know, like a, like you know, right? Those kind of clinics, right? To get your eyes checked, to get the right prescription. But I'm going to ask for probably three different types of glasses. Maybe even four. And even then, I used to do, I, I, I don't, I just do better. Like when he changed that lens, people, he ruined my eye. Forget the eyes. This one I can barely see out of. He ruined my eye. He should never have changed the cataract. It made things so worse. And I guess, and I have been using these, Deb, I have to use these, these liquid saline drops. Because if I don't, the lens gets the surface of a moon. Whatever that's supposed to mean. So I have to keep it freaking lubricated. Yeah, okay. That's probably why everything's so blurry. 
stupid. And of course, people are so vicious. They're like hyenas. They go after the sick and the weak. And they tear them apart for um, <clears throat> food. That's why my food's being torn apart. My life. Yeah. But humans are different. They know better. They know between right and wrong. Animals, they just go on instinct and they're hungry. It's completely different. Yeah, completely freaking different. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out that, you know, it's whatever's going on with whoever's stalking me on the government end of things because don't forget, th this court shit, you know, they they were... I, there was supposed to be something going on in March, I don't know, where they were trying to throw out whatever it was that I was trying to do, but it's not like I'm getting any help around here. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, so you know you know they're, they're monitoring, right? And they're not being helpful because whatever they're doing isn't working. And they know it. They know it. What kind of brings... I'm going to end it on this. What kind of brings me to... Um, um, I don't know. A level of peace, maybe, with accepting my situation. Uh, my neighbor, right, has um, a doctor, an eye doctor, an eye specialist. He changed her cataract lens. Or he did something. I don't know what he did. I don't know how he can change cataract lens being blind. Maybe somebody else did the surgery. Maybe he's just her go-to guy in between. Anyway, he's an eye, eye doctor of some kind, right? And apparently he's practically blind too. But he manages in the office doing whatever he does. In, you know, he has his own practice, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask her more about it. I just know that she told me that he's blind and doesn't see very well. And he just kind of navigates and does what he can and, you know, and whatever. So... If an eye doctor can go blind, I suppose I can too, right? I'm not the only person, so that's that's my only thing that gives me uh, solace in all of it. But, you know, I don't... Uh, I just kind of came to the conclusion that the world is a bad place. Yeah. We're, when we're young, we're, we're led to believe otherwise, to some degree. We're, we're led to believe that we live in a civil society. And that people have um, um, grown towards being civil. And that, uh, but that's not true. You could be the most civilized person <coughs> in the country, but you can also be the worst in terms of uh, character and being like evil but yet appear to be so civil and respectable yeah Eleanor Gilding civil and respectable more like a demon that works for the devil and I could name a few other people in there as well just the list is long 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 okay this one has a lot of I don't know I can kind of see the fat on it kind of it's hard to cut I'm canning this so I guess that would be better to just grind it up and put it in with the But yeah, I don't like that when I'm being stalked like that. That's stalking. I know that's exactly that's what that is. It's almost like a form of mockery in my opinion. Only because it's going it's it it's my eyes are deteriorating way too fast. 
way too fast. If when you get up in the morning and you notice it day after day, week after week, and you don't know what to do about it, you have to ask yourself why. Right? And then be told Go get a family doctor before you qualify for any long-term disability. <laughs> and you put, uh, and you're still not getting nothing? Yeah. What a joke. That's gang stalking. That's what that is. They told me that doctor would take me as a patient. When I phoned, all of a sudden, I'm on hold and he's waiting to decide who he wants as a patient. Two different things I was told. Yeah, why? What happened? <clears throat> How did that happen? <clears throat> As I've got some fucking crazy bitch in my house running around doing stupid things. As if. I, I swear she was a setup. Showed up out of nowhere. Was too freaking needy. Way too needy. I feel like my son was targeted. And he was roped into it. Because of, well, obviously manipulation. And he was inexperienced with relationships. That's why I told him to wait. But he didn't. And now he's stuck with it. And before he'd admit that he made a mistake, he'll write it out for as long as he can. And just with my own experiences, only thing I gotta say is he'll be lucky to get out alive. But I won't be able to save him any more than I could save Shimei. I tried to save her, but it didn't save anything. Couldn't save anybody. <coughs> because we're targeted without us even realizing that we're being targeted. And then when you think you might know something, oh, two days after, I, right? I haven't heard from those people for two freaking years. Well, yeah, a year and a half. All of a sudden, out of the blue, they call me to come in and get prescription eyeglasses. Yeah, fuck off. Go away. That's, that's, they're taunting. They're mocking you. That's what that is. Let's try and derail you, because it never stopped. That's the thing, it never stopped. That's why I never know what's going to blindside me from one thing to the next. And this shit that went on downstairs and has been going on, it's, it's just all part and parcel of it, right? It's just another form of whatever is... Stupid. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say about that. I have to use my baby pinky. Turn it off. Oh, that's how I do it. And then I'm going to put some seasoning salt in it. Right? Oh my god, it's going fast down. And a little bit of garlic. I'm going to make just regular old beef patties. I don't have the piece for the thing for those things, but besides that point, I think I'm going to fill up whatever I've got there, and then whatever left is beef, I'm going to put half of that in mix, and then or whatever. I just forgot to put the bloody egg in it, but whatever, next time. And then you, these things just snap in, and then that's beef and pork. That pork was so fatty, but that's okay. It's going to fry those up. Or no, I'm going to wrap those up in just saran wrap.
so I know it's separate, right? That's all beef. So I can have a medium rare, blood rare, or medium if I want. And then that is, I'm going to fry those up. Eat them. See, that's what I like about those. Those are old, eh? I have more, but only so much room in my freezer. <laughs> that's just the ground pork. That's with the beef and uh, pork. I'll put those in there. I'm going to put some red peppers and just fry them up and be done.